Randall, Neil Matheson, Gage Chevy World. Hey, appreciate the interest in the Tahoe, so let's get to it. This is our 2010 Tahoe LTZ. Now, I will have to stop every once in a while. My camera does not uh, focus fantastically, so if you see a lot of hesitation here and stopping once in a while, it's just so you can get a lot better shot. I told you I would go around the truck and show you everything about it, all the nicks, scratches, and dings. I can only really find one, so I'll make sure to point that out. But I'm going to take you kind of slow. We'll start right up here in the front so you can get a real good view. Hope my commentary uh, isn't too boring as we go around. But again, the vehicle is in very, very nice shape. It's also loaded to the gills. It's got the... Uh, and I'll show them all to you, but remote start, rear seat entertainment package, uh, heated leather seats, front and back, buckets are heated. Uh, here's the tires. Good look there, it's got real good tire on it, all four around, and they are uh, Bridgestone. You can see it, they have a Dueler HLs. It does have running boards. I just ran it through the wash to try to get everything off it so we could see everything. So if you see some drips, that's what it is. Uh, of course, the chrome cap mirrors. Windshield's in very nice shape. No cracks, no scratches, you know, no wiper marks or anything like that on it. Uh, of course, you got your uh, famous shark fin up there on the roof to get, yeah, for your XM. Uh, and the XM's actually working right now. It does have navigation in it as well. Power pedals. Oh, wait. Let's see what we have here. I don't know if you can... Anyway, there I am, closer. Uh, and actually, uh, just a little bit of wax or light compound and get that. Looks like somebody got out of the car and kind of came right down a little bit, as you can see. From two feet away, you can't see it. Uh, that's one I hadn't seen. So, let me keep going around here. LTZ does have the roof rack up there on top. Uh, coming back down. All the glass is nice and fine in this. I do have it running. You can hear it there. It does have the... Underneath that is the hitch. I pulled it off just to check. It is there. It does have the trailer package. It has the backup sensors in the rear. Uh, there's also a button on the front to turn those off. It also has the backup camera that comes on uh, right in the navigation screen, not in the rear view. And you have here, I don't know if you can see that, I got two little black marks here, but they're not in the paint, so they'll rub off. Needs, looks like a boat tar or something on it. Uh, let's see, here is, I don't know if you can see that, there is. A little bit again a little compound take that right off uh, but there's a little mark there and I'll come over to the other side you're a long ways away so I know I'm being a little monotonous in my video but I want to make sure you know exactly what would be showing up I have uh, actually sold this morning a gentleman a LTZ three-quarter ton 2010 lives uh, on the Minnesota-Wisconsin border. He's going to come get that Wednesday. Boards on this side as well. Both there. Of course, there should be boards on each side. All right. Hope you're enjoying your weather. We're actually, uh, it's the second day in a row. We're, it's actually 49 right now, but it feels like about 55. We got our first 55-degree uh, day yesterday. Supposed to get up to 60s this weekend, and then rain all next week. Okay, and the other wheels and tires. Let me keep going here. What's this? Oh, that's a body line. Um, now, the one thing that I did mention, I said I, I did find one thing on here. This is the hood. It's just showing the metal. You're not sure where we're at. 
No stone chips even. Do have a little fade on the bow tie. Kind of in the, there's a little moisture in there. That's pretty common on those. Uh, but not damaged at all. It just. Alright. Like I mentioned, there is one thing here. If you look right here, right in front of my finger. Uh, get back there so you can see it. Um, there is a, a, a little ding right there. Okay. That's, that was the only thing that stood out to me when I went around the whole truck. And that is the outside. It is a beautiful car. Let me open it up though and we'll take a look inside. Starting with the door panels. No marks, no scratches. Oh, now that I've said that, what do we have right here? Oh, something that was on it that comes right off. Alright, and of course your locks, windows, heated seats for the passenger. Come around to this side, you do have the high end power seat with the electronic lumbar. This car also had WeatherTech mats all through the whole vehicle from when it was new. You can see the factory mat underneath that. It looks brand new. And again, the carpet, we have it plastic on it to protect it, but it's been covered up the whole time the first owner had. Uh, seats. No rips, tears, or even marks on the seats. Club box. And I'll slide around to the back. We'll get to the equipment when I get to the driver's side here. Again, back door. Buckets in the back. These do, uh, what is it? There it is. They do flip and fold, though most people, of course, will come right in through the front and climb through the middle. Full WeatherTech mats in the back as well. And the driver's side back is just as nice. And as I mentioned, it does have the rear seat entertainment in the back for playing your videos or video games. <laughs> It is a tri-zone temperature control system, which means the, both the driver and the passenger can do their, theirs alone, uh, as well as the rear seat passengers can control their own or have it in the front. And you can see the heated seat switches for the buckets in the rear. Down below is power port and three plugs. So, you know, if the kids want to plug in a video game and play it through the monitor up there, that can be done. All right center here coming back to the back more mats and I'm gonna pull this seat up for us just to make it a little easier for me to get in the back but the rear seats don't look like they've been sat in I can't say they haven't, but it sure looks that way. And the other side is just as nice. Okay. Come around to the back. It does also have a power rear hatch. For opening and closing. There's a button there. You also have a button on your fob. And there's a button in the front as well to unlock that. Getting even cargo mat in the back here. These seats are removable should you want to take them out. Uh, I doubt they've ever been out, but they are removable if you'd like to. And the mat, I don't know if you can see it between the seats there, the mat goes just about up to the front of the seat. So with those seats uh, up, get it up, you can see it's uh, covered all the way through in case you want to put cargo and stuff in the back here as well and a power port in the back. Okay. Button to shutter. 
All right, I'm going to come around to the front seat. All right, again, door panels. Hope this is focusing in okay. Hate to admit it, but my last phone that didn't work well as a phone was a fantastic video taker. This one I do have to go very slow. But a lot more phone functions. Power seats and lumbar on this side again. Seats. Center console. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, again, the heated seats, memory, uh, two position memory on that as well. You also have the see her there, the there's my thumb, there's my finger, there's my finger. The power folding mirrors. Oop, wrong one. It's this one. So they'll fold into the body and fold back out. I did pull them in when I ran through the car wash. Uh, this side we have the automatic headlights, dome light, or I should say the brightness of your dash lights is in the center, and you flip it all the way, turns your dome lights on. The low button is your fog lights in the front. It is uh, all wheel drive, two high, auto, four high. And I'm going to step up again, same mats all the way through. I can see the top of the dash here. It does have OnStar on the radio uh, or on the rear view. You also have the auto adjusting rear mirror there. Let's take a look. You've got the Homelink garage system. You have the power for the sunroof, which is here. As you can see, there's no watermarks or anything. And then this is your rear hatch button. Open it up in the back. You can also turn it off and just use the door manually. All right, now, this side of the steering wheel is your cruise control. The stock also handles all your wiper functions for both the front as well as the rear. Over here we can see it on the rear. Uh, dash, Let's see if she'll focus in real good on the odometer, 43878. No lights of any kind on, except that I got the door open and no seatbelt on. All right, driver information center here. You have tow haul mode on the end of the stock there. And you also have, because it is a six-speed automatic transmission, uh, you can actually put it into manual mode and then shift this through all your gears up and down with your manual shift if you th think you're uh, young at heart and want to drive a stick again. Uh, on this side of the steering wheel you have your volume controls in the rear, all your source and volume buttons, as well as your Bluetooth phone. Program your phone in, push ready. the button. Bluetooth. Bluetooth ready. Pair phone. I'm sorry, there are currently no paired Bluetooth phones. Returning to the Bluetooth menu, Bluetooth ready. Pair. Pair. Please start a search on your Bluetooth phone. Thank you. Goodbye. And that's actually about how long it takes to program a phone. Uh, as far as the stereo system, the audio system goes, uh, it does have navigation. I've got the screen on now. Uh, again, the audio, AM, FM, XM, auxiliary, uh, as well as CD player, uh, your electronic tri-zone temperature controls. Uh, on the bottom here you've got power port on each side. You have your adjustable pedals. Uh, oh, this is a button to turn off your rear parking sensors. You know, if you put a boat or something on the back and you're going somewhere and you're backing up, you don't want it beeping all over the place. Uh, and to turn traction control off. Then we have storage cup holders. Get a little close on those. 
and then in the center console not only do you have a bunch of storage but this is also uh, you have a power port and you have your auxiliary plug for your USBs so you can put music in or anything else uh, if you would use an Apple phone uh, and you want to play music you can go direct in here uh, in your auxiliary phase to be able to play your music right off your phone um, gee I think that's about it so hope I wasn't too long-winded take a look at it let me know what you think